I'm Charlie Thomas with Campbell CV. We'll be talking about safety and relief valves. This would be a safety valve good for steam, air, or gas service, and this would be a relief valve good for liquid service. We'll talk a little bit, a little bit about the uh, steam air gas valve. Inlet is piped in down here, uh, so this would, this would go to your process system. Then there's a valve and, valve and seat in this area, and then the outlet is here. These are adjusting rings here, which once they're adjusted and set, there'll be uh, set screws here so they can't be altered, and then there's a, there's a wire and a lead seal so they can't be, uh, can't be altered. There's also a uh, lead seal and wire up here. Uh, both of these are crimped once they're set. These are set either by the manufacturer or by a national board assembler. And once they're, uh, because they're a code valve, once they're set, sealed, and tagged, they can't be altered with. If the lead seals or wires are missing, the, the valve is non-code and uh, uh, typically can just be scrapped because it can't be repaired either. Um, the inspector, when they come, will be looking for this tag. And uh, the capacity on the valve either need to, needs to meet or exceed the capacity of the boiler, if it's a Section 1 application, or the pressure reducing valve uh, upstream, uh, or control valve upstream, if it's a Section 8 application. Uh, Section 4 applications would be for low pressure boilers. Uh, it's a little different, uh, differently configured valve, um, but those capacities need to uh, meet or exceed the capacity of that boiler as well. On the relief valves, the liquid valves, uh, the inlet and the outlet are, are the same. Uh, again, there's a, a valve and seat in this area. On top of that is a spring, and then the adjustment is underneath, and then there's a cap that goes over the adjustment. The cap is then sealed with a seal wire and a lead seal. The capacity and, and nomenclature on here, uh, the National Board certified valves will have a National Board certified uh, stamp up here. The ones that don't have this uh, are not, are not uh, uh, governed by SME code. And so can be, uh, uh, you, can, you can take off the cap and adjust those, uh, the set pressure on those valves. Applications for these valves, uh, you'll see these uh, on, uh, for Section 8 applications, you'll see these on uh, for steam, you'll see them on high pressure boilers. Uh, anything set above 15 PSI is a high pressure boiler. And uh, uh, you'll also see them for Section 8 applications, see them after pressure reducing valves. Um, Section 4 applications, you'll see them on low pressure boilers. For the smaller valves, uh, the, the relief valves, you'll see these used after, after pumps for pump bypass uh, protection to prevent deadheading of the pump. You'll also, also see these after pressure, re, uh, pressure reducing valves. Where would you find these valves? On Section 1 valves, uh, for steam, you'd find them on high pressure steam boilers. And for Section 8 service, you'd find them after pressure reducing valves. You'd, see, you'd find them in processing plants and any of the high pressure steam boiler plants uh, where you'd find in hospitals uh, or other food processing plants. The liquid valves, typically you'll, you'll find those either after uh, um, pump bypass applications or after pressure regulators. And these are safety and relief valves.